Excuse me. Now we have to win a chocobo race. <clears throat> you want something? We want to go up. Like I told you before, you gotta get the boss, boss's blessing, then win at the chocobo race. Dine's got his reasons and can't talk right now. So I got this instead. Whoa. We want to go up. We're, right. Did you kill Dine? You must have or you'd never be holding that thing. So Dine's dead, maybe now this place will get some peace and quiet. Dine didn't care about anyone. The hell do you know? R -r right, I mean, I don't know nothing, so sorry. <laughs> Will you get us out of here now? Huh? Haven't you forgotten something? I already told you, there's only one way out of here. You gotta win at the Chocobo races held up there at the Gold Saucer. Only one racer can go up at a time. Say what? No, Badger Melee like rules are rules, I can't change it. If I do, the whole system down here will collapse. I won't let that happen. One of you can go up after that, it's up to them to sort things out with Dio. Grr, alright. Cloud, you go. We'll be waiting down here. Now, if Tifa was in my party here, I think if I had Tifa in the party instead of Aerith, it could have been either Cloud or Tifa, because Tifa can also ride Chocobos. So, I think I would have had the choice here. Hurry up and win that Chocobo race. Get us out of here. Yeah, good luck, Cloud. I was like, whatever. <laughs> you, you decided? All you need now is a manager. They'll register you and supply the chocobo. Hi, I heard about your story. story. Esto? Oh, Esther is her name in the original translation. They call her Esto here. Yeah, Tifa can also write because if you... If you remember... <laughs> oh, excuse me. Exactly. That's what I was just going to say in Somniosis. When she... When she is the leader. Um, when Cloud... No, it's not when Cloud needs to find himself, and he's all Mako poisoned and everything, because Sid's the leader then. <sighs> Excuse me. Tifa stays with Cloud, and Sid is the leader. So, when T Tifa becomes the leader... When does Tifa become the leader? I think it is when... Cloud gets the Mako poisoning, but then when Tifa finds him, she decides to stay with him, and Sid becomes the leader. Right, when you get the high wind. Right, right, right. I'll be your manager. Well, I'm okay with that, but... This is Esther. She may look a bit funny, but there are no better manager at the races. How rude. <laughs> yeah, well, nice to meet you, Cloud. Alright, then. Go to the elevator by the pillar. Esther will fill you in on the details. See, so that's what happened. I'll have a word with Dio. You concentrate on the race. Oh yeah, that's right. What I wanted to say earlier was that anyone could be a jockey. This isn't just a race for criminals. Some compete for fame, others for fortune. So only li some only for the live for the race itself. Meh. And then there are people like you. I'll teach you how to ride a chocobo now. Not interested. I know. I know how to ride a chocobo. So, if you hold L1 and R1 or whatever they are on the on the triggers here um, the stamina will automatically refill on the chocobo and that's how you kind of uh, help cheat the system to get to win races and stuff you new here? oh I won't forget Rama don't worry it's on the Osis I'm well aware <laughs> hi Joe Joe is a dick man Joe rides that black chocobo and he is so hard to beat later on hey Esto looking pretty as usual hee <laughs> hee thanks Okay, let me introduce you, Cloud. This is Joe, one of the top Chocobo jockeys. Nice to meet you, Cloud. If you're a Lester, that means... Right, he might be the next big jockey. He was down there just one day and has made it up here already. What? You were bl watching a blind Let's Play once and the guy forgot it. Oh, no! That sucks. That's t Because you can never get it. You can never get it back. And if you don't get it... Yeah, it's right there. It's literally right there. You can see it. If you don't get it here, you can never get it. And then you can never get the Master Summon or anything. Oh, that sucks, man. Oh, he lost the race the first time. I got to go back and get it. Good, good, good. I see. How'd you manage that? Sorry, we're not supposed to inquire about the past here. Anyway, that's interesting. I have a feeling we'll meet again. Oh, we'll meet again. Don't worry. When I'm breeding my gold chocobo. Until next time, Quail. 
Okay, I'll go and sort out the chocobo. You wait here in a moment. I will. Don't mind me. I'm just going to get Rama over here. Got it. Yeah, I'll never forget that. Trust me, I know where everything is in this game. <laughs> Don't get cocky. The muscles won't help me in the race. So, hang on a second. Let me see. Oh, I can't open up my menu. Um, I think it's it's the triggers, but I don't know what the triggers are in the game. I can't open up my menu right now. Because I have to see what the controls are. Cloud. I think it's L1 and R1. It should be. Alright, so wait. L1 is making me go to the to the left, so that's good. Let me check. And R1 makes me go to the right. So yeah, L1 and R1 should do it. Okay. Thanks for waiting. I registered you in the next race. I prepared this chocobo myself, which should perform quite well. Do you remember how to ride? Yeah, got it. Actually, wait. Let me let me have her go over with it. Assist to switch. Wait, I have to <coughs> I have to go to manual. So switch speeds up. Okay, so switch. Right. Okay. And then sprint. Okay, gotcha. So we want to keep making it speed up and sprint towards the end and then hold the L1 on. Okay, gotcha. Alright, here we go. First thing we have to do is switch it to manual. So now there should be updated graphics for this as well. I might lose the first time. As a matter of fact, I'm expecting to lose this first time. Because it's been a while since I did this. And also, um, the race is pretty hard to begin with. So, Oh crap, we can learn an enemy skill from... Uh, we can learn the Aqualung enemy skill. If we find a harpy. Okay, here we go. So now we're in manual. Alright, good. Speed up, speed up, speed up, speed up, speed up. Oh, held I want another one. Okay. I'm holding them, but it's not refilling my stamina. Maybe it's making the stamina go down uh, less quick. Alright. Yeah, I'm holding them. Damn, you hear that freaking sound effect? Alright, we want to sprint through the end here. Here's where you want to sprint. Oh! Alright, I think I can do it. Oh no! I did it! I did it! Holy crap, I did it. First try. Very good. <clears throat> I was holding L1, R1, L2, and R2. I was holding them all. Congratulations, you're a free man. Oh yeah, the manager told me to give you this letter if you won. If you're reading this letter, boy, then you must have won. I know you've earned it. Esther told me about dying. Now that you've won, I can pardon you and your friends. I also have a little gift for you by way of an apology. I hope you'll find it useful in your journey. Sorry I couldn't be there in person, but I'm a very busy man. Yours sincerely, Uncle Dio. Yeah. So, okay. By the way, Insomniosis, listen, I'm going to read from the strategy guide what it says here about the Coral Prison. So you're right about the Coral Prison. You can't go back there again. But, listen, he gives us the buggy right now. And it says you can cross the desert with the buggy, but you can't return to Coral Prison. So it says, however, you can return to the desert area around the prison in the buggy. If you get lost, a chocobo cart will help you get back to your vehicle. And before you move on, take some time to check out the desert. If you can find a harpy, excuse me, a harpy to fight, you can learn the enemy skill Aqualung. You can also steal a striking stamp if you'd like, but at this point you'll just want to sell it. And then um, we can also learn the, now that we have Manipulate, we can learn the Big Guard enemy skill and the White Wind enemy skill. And we can also go back to get Beta from the Midgar Zalem. Yes, we can actually manipulate the Midgar Zalem. That's pretty nuts. I think. I think we can manipulate the Midgar Zalem. 
and we can also get great gospel now and uh, we can go get like 10 or more levels to level up we're going to do this uh, real quick back in the Junin if you go through Junin and you go down um, down in the cross section between the two main drags it says you'll find an alarm on the wall I remember this if you throw the alarm you'll be fighting level 47 monsters they're like bosses but they it's actually not too bad to fight them when you beat them they're going to give me a whole bunch of experience they're like they're level two or they're disc two enemies they're enemies that you're only supposed to fight on disc two so there's a whole bunch of stuff we have to do now we'll be waiting outside okay there's a whole bunch of stuff. Hmm, there's more. P.S. I recently met Sephiroth. I bet he's pretty popular with boys your age. Why don't you get his autograph? Apparently he's headed for Gungaga, south of the river. Sephiroth, I guess this is goodbye. Well, if you ever get your own chocobo, come back. I'll take care of the registration and everything. Hope we meet again. Very good. Okay. So, let us go with Cloud, Aerith, and Tifa. We're going to go get Great Gospel. Even though I can't teach it to her yet, we're going to get it. There's a whole bunch of stuff I can do now. We're going to learn that Aqualung enemy skill. Okay. The first thing we're going to do is save. <clears throat> Check out the new Chocobo design. Yeah, I think the Chocobos did look a little different. It was They were pretty good, huh? Alright, here we go. We got the buggy. Deserts and shallow rivers. Costa del Sol. You can even enter Costa del Sol and John on on one by taking a ride on a cargo ship. Okay. So let me get out and save really quickly here. And actually fix everybody's materia. Does she have on... Hang on. Is this double growth? No, it's normal. Her double growth is motor drive. Okay, never mind. Alright. Uh, restore we have to put back on Aerith. got Rama. Um, uh, how am I going to get Rama on? Okay, hang on. Oh, the silver bracelet is new. Hang on. That's got the same materia slots, though. Uh, I think Cloud is losing Protect. <laughs> Sorry, Cloud, but you are no longer having Protect. Alright, very good. And it's on the Force Stealer Sword, or Force Eater as it's called, so it's double double growth. So Rama will level up at twice the rate. Okay. So let's save. Okay, so now what I want to do is head back in and I want to try to learn this enemy skill, Aqualung. Aqualung, is, this is what I was thinking about in Somniosis, riding back in with the buggy, but it doesn't let you get back into the coral prison, just the desert here, as you can see. Oh wait, do I manipulate on somebody? Yes, Aerith, okay. I should actually switch that, because I want Aerith to be able to cure everybody, while uh, Tifa, Tifa can manipulate. Okay, so let's get Chocobo on Aerith and put Manipulate on Tifa. Okay, that's better. Okay, so here we go. We just have to kind of mess around in the desert here until we find Harpies to learn Aqualung. So it actually said... Okay, wait a minute, hold on. This sand thing isn't going to do anything for me. Um, Harpy.
Okay. Yeah, we need to find a harpy. Okay. So this thing has nothing. This thing we just want to kill. I don't think he has anything for us. Damn, 874. Holy crap. Got a ton of health. <laughs> Got him. Wow, we have four hundred experience and forty AP. Well, that's actually not a lot. Never mind. That wasn't that much. But we need to find a harpy because we need to get this aqua lung skill. Aqua lung is a great enemy skill to have, and if I can get it this early in the game, it's pretty awesome to have it now. Ah, another one of these things again. There's so much health, dude. Oh, he does 143. Good, we paralyzed him. And we silenced them, cool. <laughs> you can still do sandstorm though, even though he's silenced. This is a great way to work on limits, too, for everybody. <laughs> Got him. Nice. Oh, and Chocobo both leveled up. Very good. On harpies. You're still okay. No problem, Sandiosis. You got it, dude. I'm here. Ah, I keep fighting these snakes. I need to fight harpies, man. <clears throat> You know what? I just realized I have both steal and manipulate on Tifa. That's not good either because when I manipulate, I also want to be able to steal with another character as well. 
Damn, I just got a critical Klim Hazard hit for 1,816 damage. Holy crap. Klim Hazard just got critical. Wow. Wow. That was insanity. Yeah, right, too bad it was on a regular enemy. <laughs> Although he does have a lot of health, so I'm glad that <clears throat> I'm glad it took him out quickly. Come on, Harpy. Need to find a Harpy. It's on the Asus. Only was on a tough boss, right? I know. Come on, Harpy. No! <laughs> alright, it's alright. What bosses give me the most- um... It's a good question. I don't know. Not- I don't know. I don't think really any of them do, to be honest with you. Because once you get Knights of the Round, it's pretty much all over. I'm trying to see what I can steal from this thing, but I'm never able to steal. I think Tifa's steal rate might be pretty freaking low. Although I usually put steal on her throughout all my playthroughs. Tifa's usually my... My thief. Got him. See, that's the thing, though, with car- Oh, nice, we just got cure too. That's the thing, with carry armor, I use Knights of the Round and it one-shots him. I don't think I've ever fought carry armor without Knights of the Round. So maybe carry armor would give me a problem if I fought him normally. But I always just one-shot him with Knights of the Round. Same thing with Bizarre Sephiroth and Safer Sephiroth. They all get one-shot with Knights of the Round. A Cactuar! Holy moly. What do I have to do to Cactuars? I forget. Doesn't have anything. I forget what I have to do to a cactuar. Tom Neos, do you remember? Oh, never mind. I killed him. Damn, 10,000 gil. Nice. That's what it is. It's one experience, one AP, but 10,000 gil. If you can manage to kill them. Well, three Cactuar and I can get a gold ticket to the gold saucer. <laughs> Uh-oh. We're dropping frames here. Sorry, you guys. Hold on. Alright, everything seems to be okay now. They're immune to most elements. I think you just have to f to kill them physically, but they pretty much dodge everything. Um, luckily, I had a limit break because they, he couldn't dodge the limit break. In FF8, they're weak against water. Okay. Critical hit. Nice. Cactuars are tougher than Cactuars, but don't have elemental resistance. That's in FF8, right? 
Because in FF7 here, it's only a Cactuar, that's it. There's no other versions of Cactuar. There's no Cactuars. Yeah, Tifa's skill rate is pretty damn low, man. Oh, Turbo Ether. Okay. I finally got it. <clears throat> it was a Turbo Ether from him. There's Cactuars on Cactus Island and Seven? Really? Okay. Well, I stand corrected then. Alright, let me go save somewhere because I've done a lot of fighting here and unfortunately haven't been able to save yet. Let me go back out and save. But I gotta find a harpy. I gotta get this off with long enemy skill. Aqualung and Beta, exactly. We're gonna get them. We're gonna get them tonight. We're going to get them tonight. Might as well stay on this one screen here. Because there's no, there, <clears throat> no sense on going further into the desert. I can fight them right here. I guess Harpy's a rare encounter here. Which sucks, but... Oh yeah, Cosmo Canyon's coming up, absolutely. Sure is. I can't wait to hear the remix of the Cosmo Canyon theme that they put in this game. I wonder if it's going to be the original Cosmo Canyon theme or if they're going to have it, you know, remixed. <clears throat> like for example, this desert theme is the original. They didn't mess with it in this, uh, in the updated music that I put into the game. Because they use, oh excuse me. They use a mix of the original, the symphonic version with the orchestra, and fan-made. So I don't know what Cosmo Canyon is going to be like. That's a pretty awesome part about this game. Um, playing it with all the mods and everything active. <laughs> with the music mod, I never know what I'm going to get when I get to a new area. Red's theme was remixed here, and Red's theme is pretty similar, right? Oh my god, where are the harpies? Where are the harpies?
At least it's decent experience and AP when you fight those things. I really need a harpy though. Ah, another cactuar. Good, I have uh, Tifa's limit break again. Oh no, it missed! And it missed! It missed twice! Tifa's limit break missed twice! I'm not going to be able to kill him. Yeah, he ran away. Couldn't get him. Oh, it's freaking sand snakes, man. That's all I'm getting. leveled up and Cloud's about to level up, so that's good. Come on, Harpy. I just need one Harpy. Just need one. Wonder what the encounter rate for Harpies are. Here in the desert. Oh my god, this thing again. You know what? I just run from it. Well, let me. Yeah, okay. Insomniosis, can you look up the encounter rate for harpies in the desert? If you don't mind. See what I'm working with here. What kind of uh, encounter rate percentage I'm looking at <laughs> to see how long it's going to take me to encounter a harpy here. Oh my god. I missed the second one, damn it.
Oh nice, I got a critical hit on her first one. And Cloud leveled up, sweet. Uh, maybe Insanlius has stepped away. Let me see. I'm gonna look it up real quick. What is the counter rate? Let's see. FF7. What is the harpy? Counter rate in the desert. So let's see what it says here. Um, it can be encountered in the desert surrounding the gold saucer area. Oh, wait a minute. It's not in this desert. It's in the desert, outside in the buggy. Oh my god! It's I'm in the wrong desert. I'm in the wrong area. Not in the desert on foot. In the desert in the buggy. Oh my god, I'm glad I looked it up. I would have been here all night trying to get a, a harpy and never getting it. Okay. Wrong, wrong spot. Wrong desert. We gotta get out of here. Well... There you have it. Good thing I looked it up. We wasted a little bit of time, but it's alright. Now, can I save while being inside the buggy? I don't know. Yeah, I can. Okay, cool. So I don't have to get out of the buggy on the ground and save. I can just save here. Well, that's alright. What are you going to do? Now we get to we get to listen to this amazing theme while hunting for harpies now in this desert. Here we go. All right, harpies, let's go. Those are not harpies. No, they're flat beats. Okay. And they do a whole crap ton of damage. Damn. Holy moly. Nice. Aerith killed him. That's what we need. We need kills with Aerith. Yeah, that sucks. I was in the desert for no reason. But, it's alright. give Aerith an ether. She's gonna need it to keep curing us. 
Come on, harpies. Come on, harpies. Come on, harpy. Let's go. Ugh, these guys again. Nice, critical hit. <clears throat> and Tifa leveled up, very good. I really wish the world map loaded quicker. But, what are you gonna do? Come on, Harpy. I think we found it. Uh, is this a harpy? No, it's a chimera. Damn it. I don't think they have anything of of use. Oh, wait a minute. Never mind. Holy crap, we're about to die. That was Aqualung, but he didn't get it because... Because, uh, he died. That was it. That was Aqualung. I don't think he has it. Oh yeah, Aqua Breath! He does have it. Here it is again. Yeah, now he definitely has it. Yes! We got it! Holy crap, it's Somniosis, we got it! <clears throat> so that's a harpy, it's called a chimera in this game. Oh my god. Alright, we got it. Holy moly. Alright, so let's go learn a few more enemy skills. Oh my god, that's crazy. Alright, let's check it. Hold on. Yep, we got it. Aqua Breath. It's called Aqua Lung, but Aqua... Yeah, the harpies look like chimeras. Yep. We are saving the game. Awesome. Alright, so Aqua Lung is learned. Aqua Lung is going to wreck the Midgar Zone. Alright, so we have to learn a couple more enemy skills. Uh, number one was that. Number two, the beach claws near Costa del Sol have the big guard enemy skill. We need that because that will get us, um, Costa del Sol's over here. The, the, uh, big guard will get us to be able to cast wall. Wait a minute. No, I gotta go back up this way. Big guard the beach plugs which you know like I said cast big guard 
that will cast wall on us, which we're not going to be able to have for quite a while. Wall, you don't get wall for quite a while, but the beach pugs cast it, so I can manipulate them into casting uh, big guard on me. So yeah. <laughs> Wow, man. Aqualung is going to wreck the Midgar Zalem. Very cool. I hope in the remake they include a bestiary in the remake. That would be awesome. So every time you fight an enemy, it adds their entry into the bestiary. That would be freaking sweet. Alright. So let's fight these beach pugs. So we can learn big guard. Actually, I can get out of the buggy. Run on the beach on foot. It would be really cool if they put a bestiary in, yeah. Oh, it's this thing again. <laughs> Gotta put long range back on Aerith so she gets full damage. But the thing is, I need, uh... I need manipulate on her. So here's the thing, when trying to learn beta, if Cloud dies while trying to learn beta, he'll, he'll learn it, just like he learned Aqualung just now. He will learn it if he dies, it's just that I have to win the battle, I can't run away, and I can't have somebody knock out of the battle and have the other two die and then escape the battle because I need to have, I need to win the battle. Even if Cloud dies, I'll still learn it. <clears throat> and then the Zemzalettes near Junin give, give us White Wind, so we have to go back across to the first continent again and we'll learn White Wind, and then we'll fight the Zalem again to learn, um, Beta. And then we'll have all the enemy skills, I think, up to this point that we can get. Come on, give me Beach Pugs. There we go, perfect. freaking missed. Well, all I need is one alive, so hang on. Alright, I got him. Mighty Guard. Thank you for Big Guard, aka Mighty Guard, in this translation. Alright, cool. Cloud learned it. Alright, we got big guard, mighty guard, which gives us wall, which is pretty awesome. I can use that when I'm fighting the Zalm as well. Put big guard up. So yeah, I'm definitely going to be able to get baited now. I got aqua lung, I got big guard, I'm going to have white wind in just a few minutes. Okay, very good. Alright, back to the first continent we go. Come 
wonder if I can manipulate the Zalm. Insomniosis, do you know? Can I manipulate the Midgar Zalm? I'm probably going to have to have manipulate at a higher level to do that, though. But I'm wondering if I can actually manipulate the, the Midgar uh, Zalm. Uh, this way. I think he's immune to manipulate. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if he can or not. Hundred gil. Yes. All right, back to the first continent we go. And then we're also going to get um, the mithril from the sleeping man now. But we'll do that before we go back to the second continent. That'll be the last thing we do. We'll pick up we'll pick up the mithril from the sleeping man. Back to the first continent. Dun, 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 dun. We are back. We got everything here the first time around, so we don't have to worry about checking the shops or anything. Let me see, Insomnia, I'm curious. I'm just going to look it up to see if he actually is manipulatable. FF7, can you manipulate Midgar Zone? No, he can't be manipulated. But learning beta is not that hard. The Zalm will counter the attacker that got his HP below 2000 by blowing him out of the battle. After it has done this, it will counter after an attack brings his HP under 1500 with beta always. Basically just sitting around will never work. Never work. You have to attack him since beta is only used as a counter attack. Yeah. Okay. And make sure the Zalm has enough MP to use beta too. I can actually give him an ether if his MP is low. So I can use sense on him to keep an eye on his MP. And I can actually feed him an ether to raise his MP so he actually does beta. This is going to be tough to get. I mean, I don't know. Alright, this is the area where I have where I could fight uh, high level dudes. You a civilian, keep out of training. But we're not going to do that yet. We'll do that after I get beta and stuff. <clears throat> I have to get beta and I have to get white wind. White wind is the Zemzalets near Johnny. Okay. Actually, that wasn't where the alarm was. I think it's through here. Now this gets us, this gets us out of Jonin, I believe.
We'll find it. We'll find the other place. There's the high wind. Yep, there it is. So wait, do I want to be up here? Yeah, right? I have to go back this way. I'm trying to remember how to get out of here. Well, maybe not. That just shows me the high wind. So maybe it's not up here. They're doing the victory pose. I'm gonna use this pose in battle someday. Same here, I'll keep practicing it until then. It's funny. Alright, so that's the locker room. That's the, min the highway, that's where I came from. It's gotta be this way. Yep, here it is. Okay, we're good. Down the elevator. So I have to make sure whoever knocks the Zalem's HP down to below 2000 is not Cloud. Because Cloud has to stay in the battle, obviously, to learn beta. Okay. Here we go. We're finally out of Junin again. Now we can save on the world map and try to learn White Wind from the Zemzolets. And then, to the Zalem it is. <clears throat> Try to fight the Zemzolites here. That is not a Zemzolite. Remember how long I <clears throat> it took me to find one of those helicarrier things again because I was trying to steal something from it? Whatever it was, I don't even remember what it was that I was trying to steal from it anymore. I'm going to try to get another one now, just for the hell of it. A boomerang! That's right, the boomerang.
bones them so it. Nope, two of these guys again. Nice, here it is. Okay, here he is. White wind, here we go. One of the best heal spells in the game. <clears throat> Critical hit, nice. Alright, we're learning all these enemy skills in Somniosis, this is great. So let's save. Now that we learned White Wind. And the reason why White Wind is so good, let me just check on it. So, restores HP and status for all targets. HP and status, but I think it's also. White Wind, doesn't it also heal, like, based on your HP? Like, it heals the amount of HP that the caster has to everyone. So if you have 9,999 HP, or in this mod, actually, it goes up to 99,999, that's how much it'll heal everybody when you use it. I think that's, that's what happens. So. Oh, crap, this also puts haste on us, too. Barrier, magic barrier, and haste, mighty guard. Yeah, so we're definitely going to use that when we fight the Zalm. Alright, so to the Zalm it is. We're going to get beta. Alright, this is awesome. Alright, so we need to go this way. We're going to get beta. Back through the Mithril Mine. Mithril Mine was over here. Yep. Alright, so we gotta get this. I'm gonna fight him just... White Wind is definitely a must. Oh yeah. Oh good, you're still here in Somniosis. I was wondering if you had left or fell asleep or something. So we're gonna use Big Guard, or Mighty Guard as they call it. We're going to get beta, man. It's gonna work. We're getting in Somniosis. Oh no, you didn't miss me getting it. I'm on my way to go get it now. I got White Wind from the Zemzalet. Um, what else did you might you may have missed? Uh, I got White Wind. I got Big Guard. Um, I think that's it. What I'm gonna do now is get Beta, and then I'm gonna go get the Mithril from the Sleeping Man, 
and then I'm going to do a couple fights down in the Junin area where there's disc 2 enemies so I can get a few levels and then I'll continue on uh, over to Gungaga you know with our with our main story but no I didn't know where you went <clears throat> I didn't want you to miss it Zemzolet or the big flying cactus monster yep <laughs> yep 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 alright here we freaking go. It's beta time. So I have to make sure Cloud does not get knocked out of the battle. So what I'll do is... I'm going to kiss... Who has Bio? I think it's Aerith. No, it's not. It's... Tifa? No, Cloud? Cloud has Bio. Hold on. I gotta switch that. You can't have Cloud having Bio. Um... I'm going to. I'm going to give it to Aerith and put fire back on Cloud. Oh no, he has two fires now. That's not going to work. Um. There. I'll give Cloud Earth and I'll put all on fire on Tifa. Okay, there we go. That works. Okay. So now Tifa. Or Aerith, Aerith, excuse me, has poison. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. I'm only concerned about one enemy skill materia. I only, on all my playthroughs, I only fill up the one enemy skill that I always have on Cloud. So that's the only one I'm worried about. Alright. Save it one more time. And I think we're ready. You ready, Insomniosis? Ready to do this? I just cannot have Cloud knocked out of the battle. Alright, so first thing we're going to do is put Big Guard. Actually, first thing I can do is poison him. Then, mighty guard. Good, he's poisoned right away. can't have Cloud be the one to get knocked out of the battle here. So what I may do is not have Cloud even attack. Okay. He's going to knock Tifa out, right? Cloud's got to refresh. Oh, he can't refresh Mighty Guard. Hold on. He needs an Aether. Hopefully Tifa gets knocked out now. Put Big Guard back on again. Good, 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 good. Tifa's getting knocked out. That's exactly what I need. Okay. Here we go. It's all working out. It's all working out in Tom the Asus. Let me actually give him an ether so he has enough MP to use beta.
I'm just gonna keep cure and coil. Come on. Oh, actually, Cloud has to attack him, doesn't he? To use Flamethrower. He does, because he uses it as a counterattack. And Big Guard just wore off. Here it comes! Here it is! Here it is! Here it is, here it is, here it is! Nice! He knocked Cloud out? What? Wait a minute. He knocked Cloud out of the fight. He didn't learn it. Are you kidding me? He knocked Cloud out of the fight. And I don't have any more Phoenix Downs. <laughs> I just used the tent. Oh my goodness. The tent didn't revive Aerith. Ugh. Gotta be kidding me. This is something else. <sighs> Let's try that again. I've never seen him knock two people out before. Nope. Never. Not gonna hurry up. Here we go. Do beta. Do beta. Yes. Okay. Okay. We got it this time. We have to get it this time. I'm doing aqua lung now on him. We got it this time.
We got it. Yes. All right. We got beta. Whew. Aqualung wrecked them. Thanks, man. Thanks, Insomniosis. Whew. We got it. Now get the hell out of the marsh. Let's make sure we got it. Beta. Fire damage to all targets. We got it. Sweet. Beta and Aqualung. Very good. This early in the game. Very cool. Save the game. <laughs> yeah, Big Guard definitely helped there. Big Guard absolutely helped there. Alright. Sweet. 